particular features and one of them of course with the combination of different back and sides of different materials and this is more weighty and is of course the pair with the other guitar which I will post in the description the first link because this here sounds more like a negra although this is very uh, also mid-range frequency thing easy to play. The nice harmony of the top, the line that the string draws, and the fretboard, the double fretboard. This, this here is, is pretty thin. And of course this thing here is, is such a marvelous stuff there because then you can combine two different sounds with these eight braces, these eight fans it has inside. And then we will also listen now how does it matter? It's not just because of, of how does it look, it looks beautiful, the persimmon, this is also called white ebony, fancy wood, with the cocoa ball of rosewood. That is the external back and the internal back is made of Brazilian rosewood. And this here you can see also with the thickness of this thing with this detail here. But the back does it matter. Torres said that the top is only what matters in a guitar. But that's not true. In fact, now we will see how Maestro Samoji explains this from the scientific point of view about frequency, vibration and the correspondence of the back and the top and how this, the sound actually is, uh, reflects the projection of the sound from the back outside, which in this case is also a tridimensional one because of the simplicity sound has very big, large space to vibrate the stop as opposed to the other obsolete thing, and it has a bigger sound port on the treble side than the bass located below, which is also very specially, specifically calculated, along with the lateral sound port the surrounding effect. Device is a series of rubber bands and, and an iron weight on the bottom. Um, the principles of physics that this can illustrate are that if this hand were to be the top and this rubber band the air mass and this mass the back, and usually the back is a heavier, denser, more massive wood than the face. So this example would be true to that. Now, the intelligent guitar maker will try to figure out how the top and the back will function in tandem because it's the relationship of one to the other that will determine how successful an air pump you've made. Uh, we learned this experiment in high school physics where if you have an arrangement like this, you could uh, just you know, really, really, really drive 
the guitar top with a lot of energy, and it'll make very little difference to what the back is doing. It's mostly inert. But at the right frequency relationship, a rather small amount of drive from this end translates into considerable um, increase of efficiency in driving this member. This is what the guitar top and the guitar back do with each other. So it's incumbent on the maker to try to figure out what the, uh, the um, resonance relationship of those plates ought to be to one another. Because if you miss it, then you, you'll get something that really wastes a lot of the energy. It's tricky. It takes um, you know years sometimes to, to zero in on that. But um, everybody who's serious about this will wind up going in this direction. Now, people like me, fortunately, find this actually interesting. <laughs> it would be deadly boring to a lot of people. <laughs> uh, I want to illustrate. So this is very important thing, very, very important. So it does matter, the back, of course it matters. Here we have this very nice new model of the Simplicio 1932 guitar with the Whitner Pegs in symmetric placement. This neck is fabulous. And this one here has a particularity that it has the double back. It reflects the sound of two layers of wood there, Cocobolo rosewood on the external and Brazilian rosewood inside. The top, which is a uh, Norway spruce top, finest top as well, look at this, and the bridge, well, so accurate. This bridge is a flat bridge of Cremona maple. The fretboard is of Hybrid's maple, and Wittenberg could not be missing. This is a fantastic way of tuning with the zero fret and everything. It has some fretboard, of course. And the sides are of persimmon. So this is a very nice, nice combination.